Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Hi, Brunette. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good and you? I'm doing good. Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Everything good. Are you ready for another class? Yes. This is for Monday, right? Monday, August 26. Mr. Paul, hello, Mr. How are you? Hello, I am good. Doing good? Yes. Very, very nice. Mr. Emiliano, what's up? How are you, man? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Hey, Diana. How are you? I'm good, and you? Good, teacher. Doing good? Yes. That's great. Very good. Very good. Did you go to school? Yes. This week? Yes? Yes. What, what grade, Emiliano? Secondary? Yes. Second. First? Uh, second. Yes. How old are you in this moment? You are 12 or 13? How old are you? 12, teacher. 12. 12. Very good. All right. Okay, guys. Well, let's get to work. We're going to go to... Let me show you that page. We finished this one. We finished yesterday. Um, okay, we're going to finish that one. This is the class of today. Present perfect, the yes, no questions. Okay. Page number nine. All right. So what we're going to do today, as the topic says over here, present perfect, yes, no questions. We will continue with present perfect, okay? Something that we have been practicing for two weeks maybe, right? But we're gonna combine it today with a topic, yes, no questions actually, yes, no questions. All right, we're gonna be practicing that today. So let's go with the information. Can you help me, Evelyn, with number one? <clears throat> yes, no questions. Can be formulated by Swedish? Switching? Uh, switching the order of the subjects and the auxiliary verbs. Excellent. Very good. So, uh, can you help me with the formula, Evelyn, too, please? Help the, me formula with the formula is have, has, sub, plus subject, plus past participle, participle of the verb, plus complement. You got it. Thank you very much, Miss Evelyn. So let's focus on that, right? We're going to be talking about present perfect. Um, this is the original topic, right? Perfect. Um, but as you know, we need to understand the positive sentences. We need to understand the negative sentences. We need to understand the questions. But remember that we have two different types of questions, right? We have the yes, no, and we have that WH questions, all right? So, oops. So that's what we need to learn from the present perfect, right? So if you think about a positive sentence, which is easy, right? We understand 
we can do something like they, we need the auxiliary have, they have, and then we need the past participle of the verb, right? The one that we have been practicing, past participle of the verb, which is gonna be, for example, graduated. What's that, Mr. Jesus? Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Everything good, thank you. Miss Alina, hello, how are you today? Hi, teacher, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm, they have graduated mm, from university. There you go. They have graduated from university. So that's the positive sentence, right? Uh, we understand you have cameras. Let me see your cameras. Cameras, cameradas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paulette. Thank you, Paul. Teacher. So, yes, Alina. Thank you, Jesus. No puedo prender mi cámara porque no estoy en mi casa. Oh, okie dog. So, yeah. coming back to... Tell me, tell me. Y hay mucha gente. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. All right. So this is the positive, right? They have graduated from university. Ellos se han graduado de la universidad. We understand that one. Now, if you go with the negative sentence, right? We understand that the auxiliary is going to receive, I'm going to put it over here, is going to receive the not, right? And the negative is easy for you too. They haven't graduated from university. We understand this. And then Evelyn said, look at the, what Evelyn said. Yes, no questions can be formulated by switching the order. Switching the order of the subject and the auxiliary verb. Okay, so this is what we can do. Switching right switching the order of the auxiliary and the subject right like the regular formula for all the questions so we're gonna have a questions like have they graduated from university ellos se han graduado de la that's a question right Ellos se han graduado de la universidad. Hi, Angie. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. I'm good, and you? Everything good. Thank you for asking. So that's what we have, right? They have have they graduated from the university? Now, Paulette, you remember how to answer a yes no question? Yes. How would you answer a positive? And how would you answer a negative, depending on the yes. situation? They have. Yes, they have. And the negative will be? No, they haven't. No, they haven't. There you go. OK. Have they graduated from the university? No, they haven't. All right. So. Questions right now? Yes, no. What's up? No questions in this moment? No. No question. It's easy, right? It's a regular formula. Okay. So let's go with point number three. Can you help me, Paul, please? We can answer with a short answer or a long answer. Very good. So look at the example we have. Have you traveled to India, Paul? Have you traveled to India? I don't haven't traveled to India. Okay, don't don't give me the don't. I haven't. It will have to be. I haven't traveled, right, to India. 
All right. I haven't traveled to India. This is a negative answer, right? But you can do something like this. Have you traveled to India? That's the question. Have you traveled to India? Right? Okay. And then you can do a short answer like, yes, I have, like Paulette mentioned, or no, I haven't, right? Like Paul mentioned. Or you can just go with the long answer, right? No. And then you do the negative sentence in this case, the, completes, the complete negative sentence. No, I haven't traveled to India. Okay? So let's see. Mm, Mr. Jesus, um, have you graduated from uh, secondary school? Have you graduated from secondary school, Jesus? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Very good. Okay. Let me see, Paulette. Paulette, have you um, celebrated? Have you celebrated your fifteenth birthday? No, or I party. No, I haven't. Right. So now I'm coming back to Jesus. Jesus, you gave me the short answer. Remember. Have you graduated from secondary school, Jesus? No, I haven't. Okay. Now, that is the short answer. Give me the long answer. Jesus, have you graduated from secondary school? No, I haven't graduated from secondary school. Exactly. No, I haven't graduated. Graduated from blah, 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 right? That will be the complete answer, all right? Angie, for example. Angie, have you, mm, have you visited Cancun? No, I haven't. No, I haven't, right? Me neither, Angie. My goodness, maybe next year. So let's do exercise one. Can you help me, Emiliano, with the instructions, please? Yes, teachers. Exercise one. Answer the following present perfect questions with a short or a long answer. Very nice. Thank you, Emiliano. So... We're going to do this one, okay? We can do short or we can do long. The first question is, have you eaten snails before? Have you eaten snails? You understand this one? Have you eaten snails? Or is is a new vocabulary word for you? Hi, Jaisa. How are you? Hi, teacher. I am doing you. I'm doing good. Thank you. Page number nine, Alina. So snails. Do you understand it? Or no? You understand the poll? Snails? Uñas. Uñas? No. <laughs> Not uñas. It's an animal, actually. No? Nobody? Caracol? Caracol, yes. Snail. Look at this. Snail. Snail, caracol, all right? But 
in a dish, for example, right? Because this is popular. Look, maybe in very, very elegant restaurants. Have you eaten snails before? Colette, have you eaten snails before? Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Have you? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. All right. Evelyn, Evelyn, look. Has your mom been to Denver, Colorado before? Yes, hmm? Tu mamá ha estado en Denver, Colorado before? No, she haven't. No, she. What is the auxiliary for she? No, haven't. Hasn't. No, she hasn't. There you go. Thank you. I'm coming with Alina. Alina, have you killed a spider before? Uh, yes, I has. No, not has. Yes. What is I... the auxiliary? Uh huh. Yes, I have. There you go. Come in with Jaisa. Jaisa. Has your brother married? No, he hasn't. No, he has. auxiliary for he? Exactly. In negative, Jaisa? No, he? Has not. No, he has not. Or no, he hasn't. You got it. I'm coming with... Mm, Paul, has your best friend slept at your house before? No, we hasn't. Your oh, best friend? I hasn't. Your best friend? He hasn't. No, he hasn't. There you go. Okay. Number six, I'm coming with Angie. Angie. Have you studied another language besides English? Um, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. You got it. I'm coming with I'm coming with Paulette. Paulette, has the president of your country done good things for the country, Paulette? Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Very good. I am coming with Jesus. Jesus, have you, Jesus, watched two movies in a row continuously, like two movies? Have you seen two movies in a row? Uh, yes, I have. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I have. Very good. Mm, Emiliano, have you taken Italian classes before? No, I have. No, make a negative, mister. I have. I haven't. I haven't. You got it, man. I'm coming with Jaisa. Jaisa. Has your car, this is maybe for a, for an adult, has your car been stolen before? You understand, Jason? Has your car been stolen before? No, teacher. What mm -hmm. is that? Yeah. Maybe this is new for you guys, correct? Is this new? Alguien? Lo conoce? La palabra. Stolen. Robado. Robado. Very good. Yes. Robado. So look. Look, 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 look. Look, Jaisa. Has your car been stolen before? Tu carro ha sido robado antes? That's the question. 
Mm. Yes, it has. Wow, okay. Yes. It But what is has. the it has? You got it. Yes, it has. You got it. Very good, Jason. Angie. Have you got any chat? Oh, look at this one, Angie. You understand this one, Angie? Change? Um, intercambia. Yeah, but about money. Change related to money. You understand it? The cambio. O sea, cambio. Money. Exactly. So the question is, have you got any change? Como, ¿tienes cambio? That's the question. Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. That's the negative. Thank you. Alina, has the restaurant closed yet? Is negative in this case, right? Yes, it has. Yes, it has. There you go. Mr. Pa Mr. Jesus, have you finished your homework yet? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Very good. I'm coming with Paul, Paul, Paul. Has your friend Tori invited you to her birthday party? What is Tori? It's the name of your friend. Uh, no, no. And it's she. It's, no, it's she, she because her. Uh -huh. No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. And to finish, Evelyn, have your brothers visited you lately? No, she, I uh, know, no, he hasn't. Brothers, plural? No, we hasn't. It's actually they. No, they haven't. There you go. Okay, so I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, come back to have, and then they have. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you questions, okay? And you need to answer positively or negatively, depending on my questions. Okie doke. Are you ready? Mm. In present perfect. Um, for teenagers, let's see what we can get. Okay. Number one, here we go. The question is, have you have you visited another country before? Have you visited another country in your life? All right. Num uh, Paul, have you visited another country in your life? Yes, I have. Perfect. What country, Paul? Estados Unidos. USA. Num question number two. Have you eaten strange food? Strange food? Have you eaten strange food before? Have you, Jaisa, eaten strange food before? in your life? What, teacher? Have you eaten strange food? You understand strange? No. Rara. Ah, okay. Strange okay. food. Have you, have you eaten strange food in your life? Yes, I have. Very nice. What, what have you eaten? What was strange? Chapulines. 
Oh, okay. I understand. <laughs> Number three. Have you met a celebrity, like a singer, like an actor, like a football player? Have you met a celebrity before? Angie, have you met a celebrity before? No, I don't have. No, I haven't. There you go. Okay. Alina, have you ever have you ever met a celebrity before? No. No, I have not. No, I haven't. All right. Number four. Have you traveled with your friends before? Maybe in a school trip, have you traveled with your friends before? Have you, Paulette? Have you traveled with your friends? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Number five, have you read and finished a book before? Have you read and finished a book before? Have you, Jesus? Have you read and finished a book before in your life? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Number six. Have you seen, have you seen, you know, like, like watch a movie, for example, seen a movie. Have you seen your favorite movie more than five times? We understand the question. Listen, have you seen your favorite movie more than five times? Have you, Evelyn? What is your favorite movie, Evelyn? No tengo una película favorita. What? Really? Mm, so yes. this is not a good question for you. Maybe, Paulette, what is your favorite movie? What did you... What is your favorite movie? Juego de gemelas. Oh, okay. Have you watched your favorite movie more than five times, Paulette? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. All right. Me too. I have. Number seven. Have you participated in a talent show? Like playing the guitar or acting or singing. La, la, la. Have you participated? in a talent show before? Jaisa, have you participated in a talent show before? No, I haven't. Okay, okay, okay. Number eight, here we go. Have you recorded a video for YouTube before? Have you recorded a video for YouTube before? Have you, have you, have you, Paul? Have you made a YouTube video before? Yes, I have. And you have a channel? Uh, yes. Are you, are you famous? Cuando tenía seis años. Really? Wow. Nice. Oh, All sea, right. Creé a los seis años. <laughs> What is your what is your channel? No recuerdo, ya no tengo ese Gmail. Oh, okay. Bummer. Number nine. Here we go. Have you ever or have you played a musical instrument before? Have you played a musical instrument before? Angie? Have you played a uh, musical instrument before, Angie? 
Um, yes, I have. Excellent. What instrument? Oh, uh, um, flauta. Oh, in English, Angie is flute. The flute. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Very nice, Angie. Number, what number? Number 10. Number 10? Yeah. Number 10. Have you gone camping in the forest before? Have you gone camping in the forest before? Alina, have you? Have you gone camping? No, what again? Yeah, of course, listen. Have you gone camping in the forest before? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. There you go. Okay, let's go with number 11, correct? Have you watched a scary movie alone before? Have you watched a scary movie alone, all right, before? Have you, Emiliano? Have you watched a horror movie alone? Yes, I have. Oh, which one, Emiliano? Krampus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Next one, number 12. <clears throat> Uh, have you cooked? Have you cooked a soup before? Have you cooked a soup before? Have you, Jesus? Have you cooked a soup before alone? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. All right. Number 13. Have you adopted an animal before? Have you adopted an animal before? Have you, Evelyn, adopted an animal before? I haven't. I haven't. Number 14. Have you ever won a competition have you ever won a competition maybe uh i don't know like like uh, football tournament or speech competition i don't know paulette have you ever won a competition before in your life no i haven't Nice. All right. Number 15. Have you have you been have you been in an airplane before? Have you been in an airplane before, Paul? Have you been in an airplane before? No, I haven't. No, haven't. Very good. Okay. Um now the next one, number 16. Yes. Have you touched a lion before? Have you touched an, a lion before? Angie, have you touched a lion before in your life? No, I have. No, I haven't. Have you, Jesus? Have you touched a lion before? Yeah, yes, Dutch. A uh, a what? A la touched. Ah, no, a, I a lion. A lion. All right. Okay. Next one. Have you washed the bathroom before? <laughs> Have you? Maybe for men. Emiliano, have you washed the bathroom before? 
Yes, I have. Very good for you, man. Next one. Have you made friends online? Have you made friends online? Have you, Alina? Have you made friends online? Uh, yes, I. One more time, Alina. Dijo de conocer, de comprar cosas de, de en línea. No, made friends, hacer amigos. Has hecho amigos. Have you made friends online? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Oh, good. It's good Good for you that you haven't. Number, what number is next, Paulette? El teacher, no sé si la dice en la 20. Okay. Next one. Have you swum in the ocean before? Have you swum in the ocean before? Have you, Jaisa? Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Good for you. Next one. Have you broken? Broken is the past participle of break, okay? Have you broken a bone? What is bone? A bone? Hueso. Hueso. Have you broken a bone before? Have you broken a bone before? Paul, have you broken a bone? No, I haven't. Good for you, man. Very good. Next one. Have you... Oh, my gosh. Have you surprised your mom with a nice present? Look at the question. Have you surprised your mom with a nice present? Maybe in her birthday, maybe on Mother's Day. I don't know. Have you, Angie? Have you surprised your mom before with a nice present? Yes, I have. Excellent. Good for you. Okay. Have what it's, I think we're finished with this one. I think we get, we got 20. Jesus, we got 20. Eh? We have 20 questions already. No sé yo, no llevo, me he saltado algo, ¿no? Ah, okay, interesting. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to do this speaking activity, okay? So what we need to do, can you help me please, Paul, with the instructions here? Exercise three, let's play true or dare. Ready? Use have you ever to ask questions. Okay, so have you ever? That's the question we're going to be asking, okay? Activity, speaking activity before we finish the class. Okay, we're going to have three questions. We need to do, or we need to make three questions for your classmates. Okay, and they will answer. All right, what we need to do is to follow this formula for you to be easy, okay? Auxiliary, have, right, in this case, subject is going to be you because it's a personal question. So it's something like, have you, right? 
In here, we're gonna put another element today that we that we will use, which is ever. Have you ever? All right. So you include it in the question too. Have you ever? And then the past participle of the verb. Okay, for example, have you ever been? Have you ever eaten? Have you even gone, right? Whatever you want to use in there. And then obviously the complement. Okay, so have you ever been to Cancun, for example? Okay, that's my question. So we need to do one question, two questions, three questions, okay? Please give me the name of the classmate. For example, Paul, have you ever been to Cancun? So my person is going to be Paul, all right? I'm going to give you five minutes, please. Five minutes is, yeah, four minutes, four minutes is good. Three questions, okay? Tirar, se decía Tron, ¿verdad? Thanks. Está muteado. Eh, Paul, it's tirado, right? Because it's past participle. Yes. Okay, yes, it's correct. Finish, Lisa. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Jessica. One more minute. Finish. Finish, Alina, too. All right. We got two. Mm -hmm. We got three with Paul. Jaisa one, Alina two, Paul three.
I'm finished. Jesus, perfect. So, ya is a one, Alina two, Paul three, or Jesus four. All right, Jaisa, give me your questions, please. Give me the three questions. Yes. Um, Paul, have you ever played tennis? Perfect. Give me your number and, two. Angie, have you ever eat Chinese food? And Paulette, okay, have you ever seen with dolphins? Oh, okay. For only two observations. Give me the question of uh, the second question. Have you ever eat Chinese food? Mm -hmm, that the is correct. Eight? Porque se han pasado. No. Have you eaten, right? No, le había puesto eat. Ah, okay. Have you eaten then? Okay. And have you ever swim with dolphins? That one in past principle is swim. Oh, wait a minute. With you. Zoom. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Have you ever played tennis? Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. All right, Jason. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Number two is Alina, right, Alina? <laughs> yes. Uh, Tell me about... your three questions. Yes. Paul, have you ever played the guitar? Paulette, have you ever had a turtle? Jaisa, have you ever gone to a concert? Okay, just give me the verb of your second question. Late. One more time, the have... complete question. Paul, have you ever played the guitar? Yeah, this one is correct. The second one? Question number two, Alina. Oh. Have you, you ever played the guitar? Ah. And question number one? Oh, la primera, ¿cuál es? La de... Es que la primera creo que era la de la guitarra. Oh. Paulette, have you ever had a turtle? Ah, okay. This is the verb, had? Yes. Have you ever? Very nice. Yes, Alina. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye. Paul? Uh, yeah. Yes. Have you ever thrown into the pool? Have you ever collected something? Have you ever bought a book? You got it, mister. Perfect. See you tomorrow, man. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mr. Jesus, help me, please. Uh, and have you sometimes seen a dolphin in the beach? Excellent. Uh, Evelyn, have you always gone to the school? Paulette, have you usually visit, visited your grandparents? That's it. You got it, Jesus. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Finish. Bye. -bye. Tell me, pa Paulette, right? Tell me. Yes. Alina, have you ever gone to another country by one year? Yeah, it's a Excellent. Have broken a phone that is not yours. And she Perfect. said, you ever eaten rabbit? Very nice. You got it, Paulette. Thank you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I put a lima in here. Oh, yeah, that's it. Angie, you got it, Angie. Yes. Tell me, please. Alina, have you ever eaten raw meat? Yaisa, have you seen a ghost? Paulette, have you written a book? Very good, Angie. You got him. The three. Perfect. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye, Angie. Evelyn, ready? Yes. Have Tell me. Have you ever played football? 
Have you ever? Have you ever? I don't. Have you ever go to the beach? Have you ever? No, is uh, have you some things go to school? Okay, only the verb Evelyn. The verb in number two, it's gone. Okay. Have you ever gone to the beach? Okie doke. Yes. Perfect. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Evelyn.